One out of every five Canadian deaths from COVID-19 happened in Ontario's long-term care homes. And the minister responsible for those homes hasn't faced sustained questioning about it until now. Ontario's Minister of Long-Term Care, Dr. Mary Lee Fullerton, and her deputy appeared before a commission looking into how the province handled the crisis. Transcripts of that testimony were released this evening. David Common has been reviewing them. And, and David, what did they reveal? So Ian, if we go back to those early days, it's clear the province did not have a clearly articulated plan on what to do. It was emphasizing hospitals, not long-term care homes, and also didn't recognize asymptomatic spread in spite of what was happening on like the Diamond Princess cruise ship, for instance. As the deaths start to mount, there is concern. And the minister uh, in mid-April saying, look, we got to get the military into this one home, Orchard Villa, where a lot of people are dying. Get them in within 24 or 48 hours. But it takes the province four more days just to ask for the soldiers to go in, five days after that for the soldiers to actually go in. Now, more people, David, died in the, the second wave in Ontario homes than the first. Any explanation for that? Yeah, and that second wave still ongoing, of course, Ian. The minister blaming community spread. She denies it has anything to do with actions taken or not taken by her government. Lots of talk around funding. You know, some regions are actually adding money to what the province gives them for long-term care homes so they can buy things like fresh fruit and veg for the seniors who live in them. And then there's the question of inspections. This government canceled the most comprehensive of inspections before COVID struck. The minister really downplaying the importance of inspections in her testimony to the commission. Thanks, David.